Alright. Welcome back, everyone, to the second half of the stream tonight, uh, Final Fantasy 16. Um, yeah, so good thing is, is that I've seen most of this um, that we'll play today. So I'm trying to still figure out how to not play this through the, the window here. Um, we'll figure it out. But tonight, uh, we'll just uh, start a new game here. Right, we're going to screen brightness to 10 for you guys. We'll go graphics performance. Right, the stream only goes out at like 1080p anyway, so let's just do frame rate. And since I'm going to be distracted, we'll do story focused. It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light. Get used to a lot of this. We finally from let what our I've forebears heard. out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. Yeah, I heard people talking about it that there is a. Um... 10 hours of cutscenes in the game, so about a quarter of the game, or the, uh, how long the game is cutscenes. It's still, it looks really good, even on this smaller thing down here. the realm 873 oh. it'll be light soon both camps have begun to stir You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. Huh. No one That's, else. That's mean. Where's the fun in that? How do we must mean nothing that the guy's name's Tiamat. Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. <laughs> Try to keep I just realized mind. that for the first time.
Let's get this done. Maybe spoiled by the subtitles? Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Ready Wyvern. Ready to gameplay. Such a smooth transition. Same. I'm assuming that it's some kind of pet names, just because I think all the names we've seen so far mean something. Um, like have a different meaning. We don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. Oh, there we go. Active time lore. So, we'll be doing this a lot in the playthrough. A deep, arid valley located in the eastern part of the Dalmechian Republic. During the Battle of the Twin Realms in 18, 865, it was the site of repeated skirmishes as the Iron Kingdom attempted to make incursions into the Dalmechian territory. The Bastards, a unit of trained assassins deployed to the Nisa Valley, Nisa Defile, deep within Dalmechian territory and tasked with the elimination of an enemy dominant. The brand. The mark applied to the cheeks of the bearers, identifying them as something other than human. The great nations of Valistia? Did I say that? Have a long-standing accord to brand the, their bearers in this way. That the slaves might be traded across borders. Ah, so we're slaves. Awesome. Time to move. I heard people making fun of this, but I like it that I don't have to think of a second button hold down the run. We're just in time. Big giant battles. This is how you can tell they went rated M for mature. the combination of magic and and fantasy here. Like it 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 jungle boats. Theme. Beast the man. Didn't notice that the first Where time. Where this is going, they won't need this new dominant of theirs. What? Uh, I'm in performance mode. Because we stream out at 1080p anyway, so... Fuse. Did you not pledge your swords to our... The Mechian Standing Army, uh, while officially an organ of the Republic, each of its five states granted relative autonomy with regards to management of its troops, 
Aside from certain specialized squads, battle deployments are mostly comprised of small units, employing a mixture of foot soldiers and battle mages. The former are known and feared for their curved swords and, presti and prestigious axes? Prestigious axes? And the deadly skill with which they wield them. A stronghold situated in the western end of the Nicer Defile in the Dalmechian Republic in the year 873, it served as the site of a meeting convened by the Dalmechians with their uh, Walorder allies in an attempt. I gotta wait to hear that. In an attempt to enlist the aid of in driving back the Iron Blood, who had been a thorn in their side since the Battle of the Trin Realms eight years before. The Nomekian Republic is a nation formed from a federation of five smaller states. It is located in the southern half of the continent of Storm and has its capital as Randalia. It's also home to the mother crystal known as Drake's Fang. There is no official state religion and the citizens are free to worship as they please. Well, that's nice. Del Delmechia's key political entity is the parliament, which is formed of ministers representing each of the states with the prime minister as his head. Awesome. Come now. More now. Wallowed. Uh, the sole surviving nation in Ash, Wallowed, has its capital at Stoneher, home of the mother crystal of Drake's spine, a, a warlike land. Its considerable military might serves to keep neighboring countries at bay, while Wallowed does maintain a nat a, a, not at all, oh, Jesus, I can't speak, alliance with the Delmechian Republic in Southern Storm. It is very much a marriage of convenience. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. Walud. Nope, not yet. And you have His Majesty's answer. Lord Commander of the Royal Knights. <sighs> Anything new? No. Okay. To make sure we don't miss anything early. summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Definitely not a bad guy. Besides, your dominant has yet to take the field. And when... There we go, some new stuff. Alright, the Iron Crusade. The fighting forces of the Iron Kingdom, ultimate command rests with the king, who issues the orders directly to his commanders. Of each of its battalions, Iron Blood soldiers generally prefer heavy clubs and great axes over swords and other lighter weapons. This rather brutal approach is indicative of their overall attitude, which has earned them a reputation on the continent as savage. If somewhat primitive warriors. Dominant. Those within who uh, those within whom sleeps the power of an Akon. Or an Icon. Uh, though they look and think no differently to any other man or woman, they can not only cast elemental magics without a crystal, but also transform themselves into beasts of world shattering strength at any moment, a quality for which they are honored, worshipped and feared over the realm. Battle of the Twin Realms. The Battle of the Twin Realms was a conflict fought between the Holy Roman Empire of Sandbird Geek and the Kingdom of Warlow in the year 865 at San Briquois. San Briquois? Yeah. 
forces were with the power of the icon Bahamut on their side, took the Strait of Otha back to... I hope you like me completely mispronouncing things. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> uh... Uh, where was I? Putting an end to the blockade that had lasted several decades. Uh, the uh, Waloaders, looking to hold back the Sambraqua, uh, advanced by any means necessary, formed an alliance with the Dalmechian Republic, who themselves were waging war against the Iron Kingdom on the Western Front, and prevented the Empire from progressing any further. He does. Our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Well built man. Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. It's an alpha move. Which? Nope. Nope. Just leaves me. Hoka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. Game over. You lost the game. Favorite line in the cock. <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> Yeah, let's get some M for mature motorboat going on here. Does the lion take care when he chases this your, the This ain't your dad's Final or Fantasy. Did you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <sighs> Nope. Okay. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Let's do it, gentlemen. Let's go. Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. Ah! Holy shit! That's an icon, baby! Finally, grew tired of being slaughtered. All right, Titan, the warden of Earth, of whom Hugo Kupka, Kupka is the current dominant. He takes the form of a stone-skinned giant 
whose granite fists shake the earth with every mighty pummel. Titan's dominant awakens among the peoples of Dalmechiad. Titan's dominant awakens among the peoples of the Dalmechian deserts. The recipient of his strength being granted great power and status by the Republic in return for a commitment to protect the nation in times of war. Yep, and there's Shiva. <laughs> and look who's here to greet the bastard. Come on. Do I get a Shiva? No Shiva. Let's read up on Shiva. The Warden of Ice, whose appearance on the battlefield makes her enemies' blood run cold. The Iron Blood sent Shiva against the Republic Republican forces in the Knights of the Defile, where she dueled against Titan, the Icon of Earth. Okay, so just tell me what's currently happening. <laughs> size differential. Yeah, that's what I do. I just punch the ice. going to die here, Wyvern. Wyvern! That's, uh... I told you before, you do not get to die here. That's a gruesome way to go. Why be asked? Hardly knew ye. Brother. Brother. You said it completely wrong, right, Tom? It's gotta be like, BROTHER! 
Probably one way to say that. Thirteen summers earlier, year of the realm, eighteen sixty. Or eight sixty. Do you yield? Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. Yeah, Twirgle. I can't wait to pet that doggy. Can't wait to pet the doggy. Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Yes. Let's start because again. Because I need to make room. sure the timing is good on this. Show me your form. Attacking the Lord Commander. I mean, we can just skip through this stuff. Good. Again. Okay, that felt good. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. Keep them coming. That was easy enough. Did, well I, I need the dodging. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude I mean, my blade. Depends, oh. Murdoch. Your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Rossfield. This is fine. Especially at this level. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. <laughs> no. Well, I'm waiting. That was all magic hits there. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. That'll have to be for now. That's better. better. For now. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, 
ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Let's do this. Have at me, boy. Make proof of your strength. Go on. You're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. Ah. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. my disposal. I'm dodging too early because I'm getting more nervous. Getting nervous about the that they're <laughs> of a delay being there. So I'm dodging early. Sir Wade? <sighs> Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot corping at? Back to your drills. I feel at the end of every workday. Walk in my door, look at my hand, and it collapsed on the floor. Joshua, I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. Famous last words. It's just Mother's a call. Back. Hey. Your grace, please. Uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see Aged my darling noble boy. Aged noble is a much better way instead of just. Like saying spin or something like that. Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. Oh. Ah, he's not there. She's not there. Okay. So let's read about them. Thank you. That that quote kind of reminded me of this. Firstborn son of Archduke Elwyn, ruler of Rosaria. From a young age, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade. And his... He's mastering the blade. And his practice paid off when he was appointed first shield of Rosaria. Tasked to guard the phoenix and blessed with the ability to wield a part of his fire. Rodney Murdoch. Lord commander of the Rosarian army. Not only is he a skilled warrior and a laurel guardian of, of the Rosaria... Uh, Rossfeld uh, household, he is also a fine tutor indeed. It was he who trained Clive in the secrets of swordplay. While he may be a hard taskmaster, his belief and trust in the shields that serve under him 
make him a much loved leader. First Shield. Title granted to the mightiest and most stalwart shield of the Rosarian army. The first shield is entrusted with the personal protection of the dominant of the Phoenix, and is, and is gifted a portion of the icon's power over the flame, a boon known as the Blessing of the Phoenix. Joshua Rosfeld, second son of the Archduke of Rosaria, Joshua was appointed heir to the Ducal throne by virtue of his awakening as the dominant of the Phoenix. His love and admiration for his elder brother Clive is absolute, and he is only too proud to have him serve as his first shield. His love for carrots, too. His love for carrots, less so. Rosalith Castle. Situated in the heart of the ducal capital of Ros Rosalith, it is from the towering ivy fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation, an architectural feat the founder himself will be proud of. The, cap the castle has stood since the early days of the Dushi and watched over the rise of the proud nation and the people of its inhabitants, the city beneath. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. What the fuck did you just say? Come, Joshua. Your father. Is she yet? I'm there yet. Okay. Here we go. There's Jill. Here we go, Tom. Born a princess of the Northern Territories, Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the Dushi. She was raised in the Rosalith Castle alongside Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as a sister. Annabella Rosfeld. Duchess of Rosaria, wife of Archduke Elwyn, and mother to Claire and Joshua. While she adores her younger son, she treats Clive and Jill with not but not but thinly veiled contempt. Anything else? No. No. You'll be expecting us. Hmm. Lord Murdoch. Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. This cutscene plays out. Um, I am going to go grab something to drink. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust? Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa. Is that so? Alright, what do we got here? Elwyn Rosfeld, Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Claire and Joshua. Loved by his people for his steadfast leadership, both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. Quiet, Torgo. Watch me, boy. Torgo, can't wait to pet the good boy. He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The 
Let's get. Do I get Torgal lore? Ah, you Torgal lore! Yeah! Clive's faithful friend. Brought back from one of the Archduke Elwyn's expeditions to the frozen northern territories, where he was found half starved, shivering in a snowfield. Having presumably been separated from his pact, Elwyn gifted the puppy to Clive upon his return, and the two became nigh inseparable. Rejoices at your safe return, Torgal Grace. War is coming, my boy. You must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Get to check my phone while you guys oh, listen to this cutscene that I've already seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shields dismissed! You're going, hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Sunrise, sunset. And animal instincts. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. We need to go over there. Well, let's first go up here and get the thing that I saw shining up here. Need to shift this lot before we lose the light. No! Let me up here. Ah, that's bullshit. Alright, get this. Let's get this stuff on Duchess calls for our head. And oh, I, I would go this way. Mm -hmm. An apple! <laughs> Yep, that makes it, it good. Uh, 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 forgive me, Lord Marquess, pray do not concern yourself with this bungling car. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. Do these guys have lore? No. It was no trouble. Really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's Slave presence master. is more That's than his kind as. deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. I'm gonna keep saying douchey. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. Getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Yeah, hell yeah. 
Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. Thank you, my boy. Wheat harvests down again, apparently. I'm having my bearer filled with my own, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? Bastard. We don't you okay, need to have some pears. We'll be having a feast for the two of you soon enough. I'm ten seconds. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? Person with the power to cast magics without a crystal in Valenti. Men and women who awaken as bearers are enslaved. They are marked with the brand upon their check and used as tools. A cheaper alternative to scarce and precious shards. This is this system of slavery has persisted for centuries and has become so ingrained in Valstanian Valstinian life uh, Valstanian Valstanian life that they that you take pity upon the bearer's plight, seeing them as less than human. There's Joshua. Yeah. Last time I think I ran right to the door. Let's see what this is. Regular potion. Let's go see Joshua. Hey, my dude. Clive? I... Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah. We'll see. Don't worry, yeah. Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Except Thank you. you well, I don't know. I haven't gotten far enough in this game. I was going to say, except you don't turn into crystal monsters. But who knows? It's Final Fantasy and crystals. Hi, Mom. You will put Joshua's comfort and safety before your own. Do you understand? Yes, Your Grace. Fuck you, Mom. Kick ass, Jill. You give that dog good pets. Let him know he's a good boy. You commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. Why are flames? Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. 
Without the yeah, gotta make sure we got those crystals under control. Our realm from the this is a Final night. Fantasy game. Crystals, materia, whatever the it is. Divine blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beast men from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Stillwind Marshes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind. Not a few good men. And clear it. Just then two. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Mother crystals. Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valisthea. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the twin the twins rely on in their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether or aether, and uh, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For those reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessing. check last time when I ran through the demo if there was anything up here. Nope, I don't see anything. So one thing I learned from listening to people that played through this game um, is that you will know if they want you to get something. No messages, my lord. No messages. Thank you. Thank you, voicemail. Will you be away this time? Not long. Four days. Yeah, it's even more insidious than that, Tom. I don't know if insidious is the right word. And but you will be taking you will Joshua. see the items, exactly and if there's nothing behind, there, there's nothing there. Can I? Yeah, there's nothing like that you the need to The blood of the Ross runs in his veins. And for the most part, before going to war, we perform the right at Phoenix. The side quest it's will lead you to those areas anyway. Head. So and only the dominant can enter the apotheosis. It's a very so yes, Taking Joshua. You know, linear in what that. What the hell aspect. with your way? The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix, the heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years. He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. 
He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. <laughs> I am merely... Yeah, totally. Warming the totally seat. doesn't seem conniving Joshua at all. Comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son. And you sit upon the throne. You sit upon a throne of lies, yes, right, Archduke. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble mm -hmm. blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. This is it then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star. Oh, that Every means Disney. Oh, this is connected to Kingdom Hearts. I should get oh no! Sleep. Right. Wish upon a star, Disney. Clive. Kingdom Hearts. We're going with them tomorrow. She was born a princess of the Northern Territories. Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the by the Dushi. She was raised in Rosalith Castle alongside Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as a sister. So there you go, Tom. Aren't you? Ask and the active time lore shall I am Joshua's shield. Shall, um, I'm sworn to protect him. Shall giveth. He takes too many risks. I mean, I if you always got to look at it in the himself. negative sense, Tom, yes. Clive, you... I have another mission, too. Father has given me my first command. Well, and that necklace going isn't going to, going to mean anything. For your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. Oh, she's religious too. Red flag. Five is like woman emotions. Don't know what to do. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. Well, you're an idiot, Jill. But it never really ends, does it? Not until the, uh... No. The military-industrial complex is destroyed. The next and we seize the means of production. Fall. The only way war ends. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all. I'm blessed by the Phoenix. Warm her up! It's getting cold. We should go in. My lady. Good night, Clive. No. No, the, the weird romantic tension between the only character you play in this game and another character in this game will not come back into play at any point in this game. Sorry. 
Sorry, Ambrosia. I won't be hunting today. Uh, can't wait to have him for a long time in this game. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Good luck. Wave, Joshua. Too cool. Should wait back. Those horns are making my paddle vibrate. I don't know if that's coming through. Friends, we ride for Romans. Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the fireless flame forever. His grace departs. Open the gates! Open the gates! I love that chocobos. It's just a normal thing that they're riding on these giant birds, just like Lord we ride Rusty, on horses. Allow me. It looks goofy as fuck, but it's just it's just normal thing. Thank you. these guys were not named Biggs and Wedge, I will to never depart, know. I don't care if I'm spoiling it. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you? This is to be no mere investigation. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. So wait, Sir Tyler. Let us do our duty. Wait in With Tyler. pleasure, my lord. Such random as you means. command. To the marshes, then. And may the blessing of the crystals go with us. This is your world map. Let's go. Can't wait to see this as more. If it's more spread out or if it's um, like Final Fantasy X's map. Where it's just basically a straight line. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. No <laughs> shit, Tyler. And everything else. I have eyes. Lost in a fog. <laughs> Fucking blizzard. Microsoft needs to buy them quickly. Not exactly the most well-maintained path. But who do you imagine would maintain Fuck it? Fuck you, Wade. They've all fled from the blight. It's hard to believe that anyone used to live here. The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. <laughs> I got two gill. All right, let's beat up some goblins. Wade. That's why you cast pass without a trace. Wait, 
with me. Press on. There may be more ahead. Try that in the in the in the battle coming up here at the end. Welcome to Stillwind. Have care, my lord. Here we go. Fuck you guys. Oh, nice. Sir Wade got that one. Thank you, Sir Wade. You got a potion? Let's see what's over here in this house. If I can get in. No, we can't get in this house. No. Moving on then. Another strength tonic. Definitely trying one of those out. Where are those guys Oh, the pot butterflies. I didn't either. I'm just going to test them out. Watch out, my lord. Some of their number of spells. And what a number. We'll all have our hands full here. I'm trying to Phoenix Dash. Butterflies, where are you telling me to go? We should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. It might not be. He's the leader. That's like that the goblin that you just shoot so he doesn't fall. Take care of his followers first. Why not? I usually shoot an arrow right in his face. Care to fit the hook? As if you have to ask. <laughs> Yeah, we 
got some kind of achievement. And there was one. Ability points, experience points. Got it. Let's get the leader. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Come back and fight, you coward! After him, before he summons the rest. Yes. No, I don't need that yet. Sounds good. Uh, can I just get the rest? use that yet. Let's just get this. Oh, that's probably better for me. Oh, do I have any active time lore? Ooh, goblins! A common species of beastmen. While at first glance they may seem like mindless predators, goblins have their own unique language and are skilled enough to both cast magics and make rudimentary, rudimentary tools and weapons. While most found on the continent of the storm, the spread of the blight has forced them to find homes nearby human settlements. A move that oft ends in misunderstanding and bloodshed. 
Ooh, Sir Wade, a loyal shield of Rosaria, chosen by the Lord Commander Rodney Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind. Once but a lowborn page, Wade was inspired to join the Wanks after Wanks. The ranks after a wood pile fell on him, and his life was saved by a young Joshua. Sir Tyler, a loyal shield of Rosaria and scion of a noble family. Tyler followed in his father's footsteps in entering the service of the Dushi, rising to the position of right hand man to the Lord Commander. He was chosen by Lord Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind, a level head who could be trusted not only to obey the young lads, the, the young Lord Marquis, Marquis's orders and keep him safe, but to help keep the fiery Sir Wade in line. Stillwind Marsh, yeah. An area of, of the swampland that stretches northeast from Ros Rosalith Castle, the Odd Village could only once be found here, but nothing to compare to the lively settlements that line the main road of the realm. And with the encroachment of the Blight and the creatures driven before it, even these scant settlements were soon deserted. Let's go get that goblin. You goblin, where you at? There he is. You get back here. Back here. Damn it. This doesn't look like a battle arena. This ends now. What could that be? Oh, that freaks! 
said, stay away from its mouth. Uh, you won't be gone for long. I guess this would happen if I got enough points. Yeah, I'm wondering if, like, there'll be a Marlboro, but it's, like, huge and bigger than that thing. Like, like, Pikachu, Raichu, you Thanks. know, like, evolutions in Pokemon. Never thought I'd see it. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but Marlboros, too. I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. I think it's all cutscenes from here on out. For a little Damned bit light. Ooh. My DLC is downloaded, everyone. Uh, I didn't tell me about more balls. That's better, Tom. The Goblin Chief runs off screaming. Straight down a Mormon's gut. More tails. Drink and be merry, boys. It's been gratifying to see your student making such a name for himself. It's the first I've seen that volume bar. There was a volume bar for my mini. On top of the, of these nights, he may even deign to join the custom ones that I made. <laughs> he doesn't like his carrots. Man, he's not going to get his vitamin K. Learn that from shoot him up. Speaking of fives. Are you unwell? No, father. Just a little tired. 
Valid. Anything new here? Ooh, Phoenix Gate. A walled keep situated near Rosaria's northwest border. It was originally constructed to serve as an outpost in the wars against the Northern Territories, but its true significance lies deep within the ruins atop which the stronghold stands. Here, in an ancient chamber accessible only to the dominant of fire, is held the rite of ancestral communion, an important ritual in which it is believed that the phoenix can hear the words of the douche's forebearers. The Ducal Army the loyal soldiery of the Duchy of Rosaria, they serve under the Standing Army's Lord Commander, who task it with, to enact the will of the Sovereign, the Archduke. Those who show significant aptitude or who blessed with significant nobility of birth are made shields, personal returners to the Archduke himself. That's it, right? It's okay. been a long day. They all like Clyde, don't they? Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Father? Why is it that the dominance has always born into our family? It doesn't seem fair. Empathy? Are you sure his mother is his mother? The blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through. to be a donor, to wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do. Torgo. So much for you being a fine hound. Give him pets, Clive. He just wants pets. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. You never used to. I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. <laughs> That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the powers of dominant. Yeah, if I'm gonna get the green screen, I probably should find like, the your birds. Ruler of the light. This situation is Isn't bringing fair. up green screen too much. Should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. 
Yes, you do, Joshua. Straight. You'll make a fine leader. You do. Every man has his duty. <laughs> duty. This was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. No pressure, Joshua. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets, I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <coughs> Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Torgo. Give him pets, Joshua. Don't just walk away. You gotta give him pets. Oh, look at that good boy. And here we meet the two worst guard... So... Gate guards ever. I say that for no reason. Supplies from the capital. Great investigation, boys. Sampling the wearers, were ya? <laughs> Wonder why we can see north, his face. Full of enterprising traders keen to keep us in wine. Oh, red wedding bullshit. What in That's why you should have investigated more, buddy. Yep, worst gate guards ever. They didn't even need to do a Trojan horse. This guy's could have just walked up and slit their throats. Without the ruse. Gateway secured, Captain. They proceed as planned. Uh oh. Troubles are brewing in old Phoenix Gate. Looking at this bedroom just makes me think how wild it is how people used to live. <laughs> like, I'm not even talking about the quality of furniture or anything like that. It's just, this room is just weirdly shaped. Like, there's two levels in the bedroom. said dookie forgive me my prince why hello sir wade wait you probably don't remember me i remember what is it we're under attack i don't know who they are but they've set light to half the castle i must get you to safety your highness very well i'm ready follow me your highness I mean, I trust Sir Wade, but 
Flight of the Fledgling. Joshua's a little too trusting here. Oh, I fucking love that, man. If I had that in real life, I'd play a giant flaming ball. I'm afraid so, Your Highness. We must hurry. Wade, just keep going. Scream. Everything's on fire. Fall back, Your Highness. He's not one of us. No. I must do my duty. Uh, is it tight? I got him, Sir Wade. Joshua learning traders. We must find my father. Traders from our allies. Let's find father. Good job, Sir Wade. They're our allies. Nah. I was hoping it wasn't an item I missed down there. Alright, let's go. Good job, Sir Wade. Oh no, Sir Tyler! Cover him, Wade. No oh, shit, Sherlock. Thanks to His Highness. Your Grace, Lord Murdoch. Rescue the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. We now made you super, Sir Wade. Thank you, Your Grace. I'm sure there'll be a lot of time to cash in on that that debt. We cannot stay here. We should make straight for the rear gate. The world's slowest bird. Only a lost alarm to a son gilf. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. I have a hot take that uh 
after thinking about it. It's like animal cruelty to make those birds carry messages. When there's magic. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield. You have to protect enough? Father. That's what I'm doing, man. I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces yeah. to rally at the coast. I guess it's a little less animal cruelty than Harry Potter. Where I think there's straight up teleportation in Harry Potter, yet they use owls for messaging. Five. This was when I was 100% expecting Murdoch to turn on him. And we'd have to fight Murdoch here. These guys, man. Captain. Let none escape. As you command. That's them done. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. One of the best entrances in a long time in a Final Fantasy game. Fucking dragoons, baby! Woo! May I have this dance? He's an imperial dragoon. And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. Not that it will save you! Stay still, damn you!
hit. I hit shift instead of dodge. Got him. Night of the Blinding Dawn. Did D E D. Hey, Vince. How you doing? We're almost done the demo part. And I'm going to play about an hour after that. So. Welcome. You haven't missed much if you played through the demo. Are you hot? I'm fine. And just so you don't think I'm an ultra great action player, I put this on story focus just so I can talk to the chat and not have to concentrate. Fucking vipers. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. Who was it? If they were already among us, or if there were others. Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. Oh, oh. Anime migraines. Reunion. 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 Go, Joshua. Give him all the pets. Such a good boy. Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Roslip to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. Chugmas! But that won't be possible. Lord of the snakes! Sir Wade! You're terrible at your job! Bye bye, Archduke. Sir Wade should have cashed in on that debt. Flashbacks of things we just saw an hour ago. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Bring out the Phoenix. Krugel's like, fuck this. You fucking traitors. You all deserve to burn. Control. 
I have to do something. I have to save it. Oh, my lord. Fall back. Climb. No. Not that chocobo. He was an honorable chocobo. Here goes that beautiful bitch. I eat for it. Second of the cold fire. That's impossible. Bye, Murdoch. And this part should seem very familiar to everyone that's been here since the beginning. Alright, let's prove it. Aha, I got that precision dodge.
Never break your promises. I caught a fire vanquish, baby. Is he D-E-D? -E -D? Nope. Second wind. So, there was really no point in winning that battle, it looks like. He just rose from the dead. Help him. Stop it! Stop it! I swore I would protect him! Please! Please! Why don't you go fight him, Clive? Instead of just screaming at him. Yeah, use a fire attack on the fire demon. That'll work, Phoenix. God, these cutscenes are so freaking great. Stomping right on the flag, it's disrespect. It's like walking on the logo in the center of the locker room. Please. 
I mean, that guy was dead anyway. That was probably helpful. Quite a mess that monster made. And shame about the Phoenix, but it can't be helped. My condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Oh, she's evil! And now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Your Grace, over here. Oh shit. Alright, enjoy the lurk, Tom. So you don't get spoiled. I get it. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Kill him. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me. He is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. Bye bye, maidens. Did those knights really need to sneak up on them? Alright, we're new content here. Go an hour to midnight. Joshua. Joshua. Late title card, bitches. Thirteen years later. Year of the Realm, 873. Anything new? No. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Still don't trust this guy because of his Let's name. Let's just say, Shiva and Titans, little spat. Hasn't made things any easier. And it's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. Settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. Hey, trophy! A chance encounter. The icon ability Scarlet Cyclone and Heat Wave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition and upgrade in the abilities tab in the main menu. Don't forget that once you acquire new abilities, new abilities must be equipped on. How do they expect us to kill something that could... Ooh, new shit.
No, I think we're good. Yes, All right, let's go. Don't. Only the girl holding its leash. Let's head up there. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Iron Blood friends. Where are the rest of them? It can't be the main host. Wait. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant? Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Let's do it, bitches! Let's go! That is. Ah. 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 Ah.
Shiva defeated. Frozen tear used in crafting potions, high potions, steel silk. Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The empire will have our heads if we return it. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I tell you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. I knew Tiamat was a fucking traitor. Fuck you, Tiamat. 
Level up, bitches. I'm mean, at level 11. I'm at level 11. Another crafting material. Ooh, meteorite. I didn't know they got him for this game. Fucking hell, this game's good. Any lore? Ooh, let's go through some lore. The fighting forces of the Iron Kingdom, ultimate commands. Were, oh, I already done that. Uh, let's see, Tiamat, a bearer in the service of the Holy, Holy Empire of San Berkut. Tiamat is the leader of the elite assassin squad to which Ryburn is assigned. The bastards. Their latest mission to, to take the head of the dominant of Shiva, to descend, they'll infiltrate the. Uh, nice at the file where the forces of the Republic of Dalmasca or Dalmechia, sorry, and the Iron Kingdom are aligned against each other. Though none know his true name, rumor has it that the man now known as Tiamat was born of a scion of a noble Samberki family and abandoned his fate after his powers awakened. Okay, I already seen that. Update the Jill. Dominant of Shiva and Clive's childhood friend, in the depths of the Nysid Defile, the two came to blows at the orders of the armies that enslaved them. Jill fighting to defend the priests of the Iron Kingdom, Clive obeying the Empire's orders to take the head of Shiva's dominant. Exhausted from her tilt with Titan, Jill came close to falling to the Assassin's Blade, but was spared at the last moment and Clive's memories of their time together came flooding back. And now, who the fuck is this guy? <gasps> Puppy! This one. It's an unfamiliar fella. Oh, it's Sid. Bloody wind. Well, come on, lad. Torgo! Puppy! I can't wait to give him all the pets. Ooh. Commander of the Kingdom of Wallow's elite intelligence who sits by her leech's side at the highest tables of state, most recently in their negotiations with the Dalmex at the uh, Zirin... I'm, I'm tired. Stronghold, but Barnabas is not the only one who, with whom she shares a special bond. Benecki also has eyes and ambitions for Hugo Koopa. Hugo dear. My proud desert life. Would that you had taken care when chasing my hair. I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back. No doubt. But you'll have to work harder if 
cure to claim this prize. Yep, nothing new. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. Gather the men. We have work to do. Jill. Is it really you? Who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Sit office? Oh, that's so good. Cornered by a battalion of the Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the Land of Defile, Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and speared him and Jill away. To his secret hideaway in the Deadlands. Torgal. Torgal? Uh, his name is Torgal. Did you look it? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of a jock of old type. Clyde Rosfield. Come now, fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down, I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. Get a second opinion. Back her up. Who's that second guy? Eh, hey, Goetz. One of Sim's trusted allies, a gentle giant who has warm words for everyone. Oh, he's going to become my boy. Clyde's faithful friend, now fully grown, after the tragic events at the Phoenix Gate. I believe that Torgal was lost to him forever. However, their paths were to cross again some 13 years later when Torgal's new master Sid came to Clive's rescue in the depths of the Nysa Defile. Despite their long years apart, the two know, knew each other as if not a single day had passed of their separation. Not another step. I mean. About to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. Explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Torgo!
This map's kind of beautiful. Central Storm. Almost further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. And you no know trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Home sweet home. Yeah. I think this might be a good place to call it. I will probably be back tomorrow streaming this. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of health. We must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. So you saw. You're back. Oh, yeah. Refuge hidden in the belated lands of Central Storm, from which Sid operates a secretive community of freed bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, a combination of near indestructible fallen ruins and considerable ingenuity have led to the establishment of a safe haven where those who rally to their leader's cause are only just about able to eke out an oblit meager existence. Barren waves befriend of ether, where no life stirs and magic is all but unusual. Here both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years, the blade has spread ever more widely, displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceful fauna, a peaceable fauna to violent desperation and leaving silent devastation in its wake. An ancient yet highly in, uh, advanced civilization whose re relics can be found across the length and breadth of Valestia, the material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than, the ste than steel and cannot be worked by modern methods. So the people of modern day have elected to build inside and around instead of in around them instead. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was. Give me Tarja. Give her a look over. All right. Goots. Get her upstairs. Well, none will. Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her feet. All of it. She's the best healer this side of them. There we go. Resident physiker of Sid's hideaway, Tarja is an expert in all matters of medicines and medical intervention skills that are indispensable in their Deadlands home, where they cannot call on healing magics. After Sid brings an unconscious chill back to the hideaway from his expedition, uh, she is pleased. She is placed in the Tarja's care. Hide, hide away. All right. I think 
that'll do it for tonight's stream. Thank you for joining me. I will be back tomorrow for this. Um, this was a whole lot of fun. Um, I'm loving this game so far. So hopefully you can join me. Um, I'll probably tweet out the time. Might be an earlier start tomorrow. Um, but I'll let you guys know. Um, so thank you for joining me, Vince, Mo Metal Militia, anyone else that was lurking out there. Thank you, guys. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. And then uh, we'll be back on Monday uh, with our Retro Roulette game when the podcast comes out. So be sure to tune in. Let me make sure I save. All right. Thank you. Ooh, look at those things. That's awesome. All right. Once again, thank you guys for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.